With so many LEGO Harry Potter sets releasing, that unfortunately means that some amazing sets are going to have to retire. So let's take a look at the list of sets that are going to be retiring at the end of the year. The first of two sets retiring in July is the Hogwarts Astronomy Tower. Retailing for $100 and coming with 8 minifigures, this set is fantastic, has a lot of awesome play features, and depicts so many great memories from the movies and books. With all the figs included, you can display it however you please. This also includes 971 pieces, so for every Everyone who factors in price per piece, this is a pretty good value. The final set retiring in July is the Hogsmeade Village Visit. Now I'm a huge fan of Christmas time and snow in general, so incorporating the snow and the Christmas vibe here is right up my alley. This also includes a 20 year anniversary Golden Ron Weasley, which is also in a few other sets as well with other characters, one of those collectible minifigures. So if you're trying to collect all of them, or if you just want to have one of them, this is a perfect set for you. Seven figs, $90, a really awesome set, really colorful, and just a lot of fun. Now let's move on to the sets retiring at the end of the year with these three Brickheads. I'm not going to talk about them each individually because my thoughts on Brickheads are all pretty much the same. While I do like some more than others, they're Brickheads. I'm not going to go out of my way to collect them, that's just me personally, but if you are someone who collects Brickheads, I think that you should get them now rather than wait for when they could potentially no longer be in stock. Chamber of Secrets is up next and is going to be sadly retiring, and the really cool part about this, besides the fact that it's an awesome set, is you can actually connect it with other Hogwarts sets from 2021 to 2023 and make a smaller version of Hogwarts Castle. It's a super cool concept and I love how it looks when it's all done with the completed collection. Like all the sets I've already listed and have yet to list, if you are interested in any of these, I really highly recommend going out and getting them as soon as you can so you don't run into the risk of them being sold out. Dumbledore's Office is another one of those sets that you can attach to the other Hogwarts sets. It's so much fun just to look at and on display it looks beautiful. This is a set that I don't have sadly, but I really want, so I will say it once again, I sound like a broken record. I am going to try and get this sooner rather than later just because I don't want to run into the risk of it being sold out. By far the most expensive set on this list is the Hogwarts Express Collector's Edition. The minifig selection is really nice as well as the displayability of this set. Now many people feel the biggest downfall is the fact that this is not compatible with any other train tracks that LEGO has. A lot of people would love to have this set running around their own LEGO city or their own train tracks for that matter. While I do understand that thought process, this is a collector's edition set, such as the UCS sets from LEGO Star Wars, and with this set, the idea is to put it on a shelf and have it on display, not to be running around the track, but what I would do with this set is buy it and put it on a shelf. I wouldn't personally have it running around the track, that's just me, but I understand that viewpoint. Either way, this is an amazing set, and if you're on the fence about buying this set, I highly recommend it. The Shrieking Shack and Whopping Willow is one of the more fun and creative sets on this list. I really love how they incorporated those wooden planks to make it seem like the house is all boarded up and has been abandoned, and the Whopping Willow tree just looks menacing. Now, while this set does retail for $90, I don't think I would personally spend $90 on this. I'd rather take that money and spend it on a different set. But if it ever comes down in price before its retirement date, I think that it's a great buy. The rumor requirements can also be attached to the other Hogwarts sets, but I feel that it's missing something. I can't quite put my finger on exactly what it is that it's missing, but every time I look at it, I say to myself, I really feel that this set needs more. While there is ample detail and playability involved in this version of the rumor requirements, I feel that this set, I don't know if it should have been taller, wider, deeper, what it should be, but it's just missing something. Hopefully in a few years, we get a new version of the rumor requirements and they can massively upgrade this set. Expecto Patronum to many might be the best set on this list. It's retiring way too soon when it came out only a year ago in June. I feel that this set should have had at least another year of shelf life. I think that this set is one that fans love and really want to see stay. While this set is scheduled to retire at the end of the year, there's always that possibility that it could get extended another six months or even a year. The Battle of Hogwarts is another fantastic build, including many awesome minifigs as well as Nagini. This set is one that fans would love. The minifigures are the highlights here with so many awesome versions of each character and so many options and displays for playability. I'm going to quickly gloss over the Quidditch trunk. While this set doesn't necessarily appeal to me, I think that this is a cool set, a cool concept, but one that I just really don't care for. 
The Triwizard Tournament, the Black Lake set, is pretty cool. The Victor Crumb and Harry Potter variations that we get are something unique and very different, and I love how for Victor you have the option to put the shark head on him, which is super fun, and I just love that they went the extra mile to include that detail. It's something that really sets the set apart. For all my Diagon Alley fans out there, which I hope is all of you, the Weasley's Wizard Wheezes is sadly going, and I love this set. It's so much fun. It just pops out with that nice bright orange and just includes so many great minifigs and it's just a fun build altogether. Just looking at this set, it's just fun. That's the best way to describe it. It's fun, just like the Weasleys. They're just fun, goofy, and that's exactly what this set is. It's, it's beautiful. And the Forbidden Forest Magical Creatures is retiring and this will go really well with the Aragog and the Forbidden Forest set that released a few months later. Let me know all your thoughts about this list. Which sets are you going to be prioritizing before they're off the shelves at the end of the year? And I'll see you in the next one.